One evening, Thomas brought his last train to the junction. Percy was glad to see him. Are you on your way to the big station, Thomas? Yes, I am. Why? Because I'm going there too. I think something's up. Toby looked at the sky. Where? Not up there, down here, laughed Thomas. How can something be up when it's down? With a clickety-clack, along the track, and around a bend, then he screeched to a stop. Thomas was fender to fender with three of the strangest engines he had ever seen. Cinders and ashes, who are you? But the engines didn't answer. And they didn't look friendly. Thomas's boiler bubbled bravely. I'm Thomas. Who are you? The engines chuffed cheekily. I'm Bash! I'm Dash! And I'm Ferdinand. The two smaller engines wheezed and teased. We live here! Where's here? Misty Island! Misty Island? This is Misty Island? The little engines puffed proudly. Have you heard of it? Thomas trembled on the tracks. Yes, I have. We're the logging locos. We saw you arrive. But you didn't see us. We played rattling wheels and whistling whistles with you. But you didn't play with us. You can now, if you want. That's right. But Thomas didn't want to play with Bash, Dash, and Ferdinand. He hadn't liked their games. They were too strange. They were too scary. No, thank you. I come from the island of Sodor. Now, I'm going back there. Goodbye. And Thomas wheeshed and whooshed backwards down the track and away from the logging locos. Please? Who called the police? Percy take me to the bathroom. I gotta pee now. You're a train. You can't pee. You don't know what I got. <laughs> Dude, you guys do not know that was a complete fail. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Dude, you don't know what I just happened. So in the beginning of this video, <laughs> in the beginning of this video, I had to like run over here. My socks slipping up. I fell down, landed on my kneecap, almost trying to bust it. Oh, it hurts so bad. I could barely stand on it. Oh, oh, dude, I wish I would have caught it on camera, though. Sadly, though, I didn't. So, um, dang, what a start to a video, eh? Yeah. Um, well, yeah, that's how it went, basically, for the start of this video. Um, Hopefully you guys enjoy my little scenes I remade because some of the scenes I remade kind of took a long time to do. Not going to lie, but, you know, whatever, basically. Um, also, some footage of other random stuff. I don't know. I just think this is a Thomas and Friends randomness, too. Thomas and Edward fan randomness, too. I don't know, guys. I, I, I don't know what the title of this video is going to be. Actually, um, after the two scene remakes, we will move on to the first randomness things of the day. So after, there's also, this is also going to be a review video on something. So, yeah, so, um, like every episode and every new video, of this channel, we have to include this inside of the video. 
<laughs> that was very corny and very cringy, Thomas. <laughs> Again, very cringy. <laughs> hey guys, Thomas and Everfan, and this is going to be like the quick little random thing that I want to put out there. Because the one that I made before, way too long. So, I want to explain what Thomas and Friends Adventure Season 2 is going to be like. Because it's not going to be based on Thomas and the other engines. It's going to be based on a whole other side of Adventure Island. Not because Adventure Island's one whole island. It's very small and little. But one day it will expand to other things. So, here's what I want to show you guys today. Yes, I am putting the mats right here this time. And I want to introduce you to a bit of a character that you guys have seen before. And now you're confused. Tannic, who is this? It's me. My OC character is back. Yeah, I kind of repainted him blue. That happened. So, I want to make a sister show on Thomas and Friends Adventures. Well, I wouldn't say a sister show, I would just say like a side show, like it, it, it explains the backstory of Adventure Island's engines. Because, guys, the first engines on Adventure Island was not Thomas and Friends. It was actually my own railways. Now, I'm not the controller, I'm a tank engine in the story. But I just want to show you the characters that are in this series. So if I move this plant over, point a minute. Oh my gosh! Jeez, please, man. This always has a hand when I watch a recording video. This is the mat that I want to show them off on. So this is the map that I'm going to show off the characters on. Now, honestly, I never thought I would be actually making this little random video skit thing. Not the skit, but... This is the first character. I'm the Thomas of the series, okay? And another character that's custom made, his name is Jack. And Jack has a bit of a sad backstory to him. And a bit of a, you know prankster one, but surprisingly, uh, he's going to be the Edward of the series. Now, yeah, what did you expect from me not having an Edward? A Thomas collector that does not have an Edward, but has an Edward-based character in another series of Thomas and Friends Adventures. I can't believe that. I just did that. Um... Next, we have the whole Henry of the series. Now, I don't think this makes sense as the Henry of the series because this is Henry and the next character is a James. But listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta have the Thomas and the Jameses and the Percys and the Edwards, at least in Edward. So this is the Henry of the series. So his name is Jock. He's the James of the series. As you can see, he's the same color as me. Not the reason because we're gonna be friends in it. It's just going to be because... Thomas and Friends, there's always that one red character, there's always that blue character, there's always a, you know, different characters that are different colors. So, yeah, we switching it up today. Um, next we have the, well, Jock actually has a backstory too about his paint job and why it's the same as mine. I mean, pretty simple, I, I can explain it easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now we have the Gordon of the series, which is going to be quite the surprise to you. Itching my belly, it doesn't it? You know. Now this is um a bit of a surprise, but this is actually this is a uh, this is Frederick. Now he, the reason why he's crappy compared to the other three. Uh, there's a backstory to that too. Every single one of my engines have a backstory. Even me, I have a backstory too. That's why you saw my little cameo scene in uh, Thomas and Friends Adventures episode three, 
James Tom James and Clarabelle. Now we have the James of the series, but you guys are gonna be quite surprised, mostly you Thomas YouTubers, and you might get a little bit confused as well of why he, this character that never appears in Thomas again literally appears in this series, but he's canon to the to the Thomas universe, so I have to include him. And once we conclude Spencer, the James character of the series. Now, yeah. Might get a lot of hate for this, but I'm not lying though. Spencer's kind of a show off in the rest of the Thomas series. He kind of shows off like his speed, says he's gonna beat Gordon's record. It's, it's just that he's a bit of a show off. He, he likes to show off his speed, like in the beginning of Hero of the Rails, he shows off his speed. So, um, Spencer, I actually repainted him to have white lining all along his um, lines because you can actually see his old one was like kind of crusty you could like you could see it right here like like right right there you could see that ugly yellow golden thing that looks golden but really it's like crappy white plastic so I had to paint over it white because I think you can't see it so there you go yeah you can see it on the buffers that's what the yellow looks, that's what the white used to look like until the sun hit it and then got a different color and then that's it so basically that's everything that i wanted to show you guys um afterwards percy comes out which probably will take a long time to record because voice lines and all of that stuff but um you have the Thomas character, the Edward character, the Henry character, the Gordon character, and the James character, which will all be put in the series, Tanix Railway Adventures, a Thomas and Friends backstory. So, um, this is what I'm going to explain, and I'll make it quick. Thomas and Friends Adventures Season 2 will have a name to it. It'll be called Tanix Railway Adventures. And I think it's a good name. And it is a good name, so that's why I'm including it. So yeah. So we have a lot we have a huge character roster. Um counting as these three won't be the main characters of the series. But they will be a part of something, so, yeah, and as you can see, all of the engines are passing by, well, not actually, they're just like, you know what, that's it, this is the new Thomas and Friends Adventure series, move, jock! Thank you guys so much for watching, I've ne I actually been wanting to make this video for a while, to explain what season two of Thomas and Friends Adventures is gonna be like. And this is it, this is what it's gonna be like. It's going to have just other characters, like like um, all of these engines. Now there will be a Percy to the series. So don't think I'm not going to have more, more characters. Like I am going to have more characters there is going to be a Thomas and Edward, a James, a Gordon, and a, a what? A Thomas and Edward, a Henry, a Gordon, and a James of the series. And there will be a Percy, an Emily, and a Diesel from the series. Those are just random things that I want to bring out there. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to put my trains aside. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next uh, video. Um, that's it for Thomas and Edward Fan Randomness. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye, suckers! <laughs> well, actually, uh, yeah. Um, promo pictures for it, I'm actually going to be uploading, like, you know, other things for it. Um, yeah, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for Words Percy. I have a lot of voice actors. Uh, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, 
like I always say, Samurai selects that like button. Have a funnel day. Uh, bye, guys. Uh, just gonna walk out of the set because I think that's a good idea to like end this. I mean, clearly it is. You guys already saw like the things that I remade, so yeah. Stay tuned for season two. Um, worst person movie coming soon. Um, yeah, bye guys. Oh, and uh, if you guys uh want to check out other things, I suggest checking out my channel more often because. Some things actually premiere on my channel, and sometimes you guys miss out on it. I just just wanted to put that out there. I'll see you guys uh, later, or next time. Bye. Oh, and one more thing. Stay, keep an eye on my channel, because Where's Percy is going to be a, a premiere. And I don't want y'all to miss that. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Um, panic out. Bye. Uh, okay, first of all, one more thing. Like and subscribe and hit that bell if you're new here. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Wait, did I say that right? No, wait, did I? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hello everybody, my name is Thomas and Edward Finn. Why am I so dark? That works for life. My name is Tom. Why am I still dark? Um, I need light, but if I come close, you guys can barely see me, so it's whatever. My eyebrows look so bushy. Um, so I'm gonna get on the ground for this. So I have McQueen's here. I have this one that Richard got. From the NASCAR series, um, nobody cares about that. We're not really reviewing his stuff. Um, so we're reviewing these guys again, but we got another one. We got Sally this time, so we're gonna we're gonna unbox Sally, and she's got an accessory like all of these guys. Um, I'm gonna start collecting them, even the Mater too. So we're gonna let's just uh, rip her open real quick. Let's, let's see. Okay, okay, um, actually she was really o easy to open, I'm not gonna lie, woo wee, there she is, she's Sally, why is she looking up all of a sudden, like, looking at them, she's actually pretty cool, she comes with a table, yeah, that's like for cars, like if they want to eat or something, there's a mini fly around here, um, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Comes with a table ac accessory. Or accessory, whatever the freak you want to call it. But it's a table accessory. Whatever. Um, also, we got this uh, another sticker. The Cozy Cone Motel sticker. I mean, pretty cool. Alright, well, that's good for nothing. So we're going to put the trash. That's good for nothing. So that's actually pretty big. So we're just gonna put that right next to the queen. So this, uh, these are the um, what are they called? The Welcome to Radiator Springs collection. So yeah, we have at least collected a few of them. Now we have more like Mater with the hay bale and stuff, and it's called Bumble Blowing Mater. We will get them soon. So with all the accessories that we have here, we're gonna put all of the car stuff. Over here, come on, you guys. Oh my gosh, that's uh, pretty cool. But we got another thing, and it is Finn the Firefighter, which my special drawer, specialness, will be comparing to the take and play one. So we'll put it inside. Um, so we're going to unbox this guy because I just think I, I, I should get him. Whatever I was thinking. So, yeah, so we're gonna review them. Let's unbox them. 
Okay, so we got them open. Um, they'll easily slide out and fall. So, ooh, his, his, his ladder comes up. It doesn't move left or right. That's kind of sad, but, ooh, Flynn. I'm gonna get used to having these road vehicles. Okay. That's another one. This thing actually comes off, so you could like have this water engine or something. I don't know why his thing always comes with one wheel. I don't understand that, but I'm just gonna keep that aside. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, we're gonna decide which one of these are better. Now, if you kind of look up close at the faces, one is a bit different than the other. I would say this one's like more square, this one's more round because of me. Um, it has the overhead, which is actually pretty smart, but this one doesn't have one. Possibly because they always like flattening their road vehicles, except for Kevin. Now, if you look at the backs, I don't see a difference, although the ladder on this one, it moves left to right, although on this one, it just moves up and down. You could break its neck, you could like put it all the way up like that. Same thing, well, I mean, actually, if you compare them, they are both the same height as other ones, and then, like, all of the other ones, they look pretty good, um, so actually, Richard, some invisible person, just gave me my audio mic, so, we're gonna use the audio mic for, like, this next review. Just gonna, just gonna do that. Okay, actually, we're going to review the sides of him because I feel like that's good. So if we review the sides, you could obviously tell this one beats it because of how much more detail there is on it. So the detail, amazing. The roofs, um, someone needs to do something about that. I don't know who. Uh, the roof is gray on this one. The roof is not gray on this one. What's the point of that? So we're gonna put this little uh, Flynn the Firefighter engine right here, and we're gonna put this other one right here. Er. So yeah, that's uh, the both of the Flynn's. This one actually, I kind of like it more than that one. It'll fit on the Trackmasters. So now as we put all of the trash somewhere, because I'm gonna put it over here on this side. Um, all of the trash is falling on the floor. Some of it's falling on the floor. Don't worry about that. Now, guys, yeah, I just picked my nose. Don't worry about that. Now we have the biggest, we have the, the big thing of the pack. <sighs> Never thought I would be reviewing these. Um, you could see it somewhat, like right, right there. You, you could see it. Um, it's one of the animal engines. And the one that it is, is Percy. Because why not get another Percy? So we got Percy, another one. Because you can't, you can't have too many Percy's or Thomas's. Now, I would have liked to have got the Gordon, but Target, unfortunately, barely has anything. They have a variety, but, you know, they had Rail Rocket. I, I had to choose between a Trackmaster. So I got a Trackmaster, so we're gonna unbox this guy. All right, so we have our stuff here unboxed. So we're we're gonna um we're going to um, basically show these things off. So we'll be right back with that. All right, and we are back, and we're going to review one by one because this is pretty good. I've never expected this, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, take that off and let's review Percy. Look at this man. I like the little white eye pupils. We got Panda Percy here. I like the pandas. I also like Percy. He also comes with this uh, creepy mask that you can put on him. So. 
Yeah. Very unsettling. But it's to the, for the episode, so we're gonna put them right there. My uh, headphone wire getting in the way of everything. So we're going to then, actually should have done that in the first place. Next, we're going to review the panda of the set, which is Percy's panda, I guess. So we got the panda and another quarry truck, which I'll, I'll call it a quarry truck. I call it a quarry truck. So this is another quarry truck. I will use it as we put our little panda from Panda Express in there. Now, yeah, I like the panda, so we're gonna put it with Percy. Now this, whew, this is also why I got it. It came with another, another mail car, which looks pretty good. It has a few, it has like one black paint mail, mail like a, a black paint splotch on it. But I got rid of it pretty, pretty fast. Um, honestly, I like the way that they did the set. The mask, it's completely made of rubber. Uh, I really do like this engine. I will actually keep it. Um, it's pretty good. I think uh, we got another Percy. What the heck is with these paint flaws? All right, so there's a paint flaw. The line, it's swirly. You can't see, it's not really on point. Some of it, like right here, it's swirling off and so is that one. You could easily take the mask off. Ramon, get out, this is not cars. So we have Percy here with the weird panda mask, which kind of scares the crap out of me. Ugh, it looks so weird. So we have our new track masters here. And with the addition of Sally to my cars collection, which I have a pretty massive cars collection with uh, these. So these are our new toys for today. Ew. You guys can't really see, but what, if you look inside of his mask, it looks creepy. So that's all of our things for today. Like the creepiest Percy I've ever seen. So we're gonna just like put his mask on. You know, we're just gonna put his mask on Flynn. So yeah, there's our new things for today. I will see you guys in the next review video or the next video that I do coming somewhat soon. Um, this was the longest random thing. Actually, I'm gonna go get a screwdriver and batteries and put some batteries in this sucker. So yeah. Okay, so we got newer, uh, we have uh, the batteries here. Uh, luckily they're from my California trip which uh, I got these like on the last day. No, not really. So we're gonna unwind Percy and just put the batteries in him. So time lapse.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, goodbye, Flynn. Goodbye, Percy.